Hey everyone, FableStone 2 here bringing you a guide on the user interface for Diablo 4. So starting from left to right, we're just going to start with the left bumper, which is going to be for our health potion. So whenever you hit the left bumper, it will restore some of your health. Uh, how much health depends on the rank and level you have with your alchemist. You're able to um, make your potions a little bit stronger if you give the alchemist more money and more herbs. The next thing we have on here is for this scroll of town portal. Now if you hit down on the d-pad it will port you back to the main city in the zone that you're at. So currently if you hit down down on the d-pad it will bring us back to Clovashad. You can see that here. We'll cancel that one out. Alright the next thing we have on here is the B button which is going to be for a dash. Uh, it has a five second cooldown and like it says in the name it just dashes you around i must wait all right then the next thing we have on here is the actual health pools uh to the left of the dash uh right now we have full health currently which is why we have a full red orb now underneath dash that is going to be our primary resource depending on the class that you're playing as uh, since i'm a barbarian we use fury uh, since we're not attacking anything, we have zero fury. If we started to attack something, we would then increase our fury. Our skills use that resource, and then it would diminish it. Then we have to use one of our core basic abilities to replenish that fury. Then, going down the line, we don't have anything mapped to Y, right bumper, left trigger, right trigger. We do have a flay mapped to the A button, since that's going to be one of our core abilities. It doesn't cost any fury to use, so we kind of just keep spamming that. Alright, then the next one we have is Commanding Shout. So if we hit X, it's going to taunt every enemy in the area. It's also going to give us an increase in defense, and it's going to give us thorns. So the enemies that you just taunted to attack you, when they attack you, they're going to take damage. Now at the top right of the screen, we have the location that we're at currently. We're in the southeast foothills. We're level 22. Uh, that one's a little bit redundant, since it also shows it um, above our skills and abilities um, in that bar. Now next to that, we have the map button. So if you click on that, it will just bring up the map. And then next to that, we have the world tier. Currently, we have it set to two. It looks like in Diablo 4, there's going to be four different world tiers. Um, to the right of that, we have the time. Currently, it's 11.52 a.m. where I'm at. Under that, we have the mini map. Um, I feel it's kind of helpful in this one. You're able to pin locations. Um, you're able to see the different objects in the map, which is always handy. And then underneath that one, it's another icon showing for map and journal. So exploring the map and journal a bit, um, as you can see, we're right outside of Clovashad. I just didn't want to be in the main city for the video. And then you're able to pin different locations using the X button. And then it will give you the optimal route that you have to take to get to whatever pin. So say we wanted to go to the Alchemist to increase our health potion potency. Um, that's the fastest route to get to her. And then in the overall of the map, there's going to be different areas. So we have waypoints, strongholds, side quests, areas discovered, side dungeons, and altars of Lilith. Now each time you collect one of these, it's going to increase your renown. Uh, it looks like it's going to increase up to a maximum of uh, five of them. We've already unlocked two of them. We're working on the third level of Renown, which is going to give us Bonix experience in gold. So there you have it, a crash course on the user interface. Uh, stay tuned for more guides. I'll be making more of them. Thanks a lot. Bye.